One of the best reasons to sleep in the outdoors is because you get to sleep under the night sky. Some people call it the hotel of a billion stars. When you can't actually see quite that many, you can see an awful lot. And the amount you can see normally depends on your location. So if you want to go camping under the stars, first off, you're going to have to pick a location. Currently, I'm in one of the darkest parts of Wales and in areas like this, they try and keep light pollution to a minimum. A really good start to your dark sky adventure is having a look at a dark sky finder map. As well as giving you a great indication of where the best dark skies are in the world, they're great to have a look at where the dark skies are closer to home. You can also use your phone to find out what's in the sky from night to night. Simple apps like Starwalk, Stellarium and Sputnik all give an indication of what's around. Links in the description below. The main things to take with you for a night out stargazing are things to keep you warm. So things like jackets, bivy bags, sleeping bags and roll mats if you're going to stay out for the night. If you want to take pictures, then don't forget your camera and a tripod. And also things like binoculars and a, a head torch with a red LED feature are always handy. You're going to have to give yourself about 20 minutes for your eyes to adjust to the dark. That means no phones, no torches, no light. The best thing to do is grab that red LED head torch because it won't ruin your night vision and you can still see where you're going. When you look up into the night sky, you'll probably see satellites, planes, stars, planets, and even meteors. And whilst binoculars and telescopes are great for seeing these kind of things close up, the best way to get the entire picture is just with the naked eye. The best way to work out what you're actually looking at is to look for patterns. And that's exactly what constellations are. Constellations act like a great roadmap to find your way around the night sky. So we don't have any special events like meteor showers tonight, but what we do have out is a few planets, ones like Saturn and Jupiter, and a great view of the Milky Way. To get a decent image of the night sky, you've got to think about two things, stability and light. You'll need a camera that can leave its shutter open for a few seconds, one, two, three, ten, maybe 30 seconds, and then to get that stability, you're gonna need that tripod. So tonight we got those great dark skies, some big obvious constellations are high in the sky. So we're gonna get these lights off and enjoy. There's no best time of year to get out stargazing. Winter months tend to have quite long and still nights with beautiful constellations and deep sky objects. But it's quite a lot of effort to get out and it's often cold and you tend to get a lot of cloud. On the other hand, summer nights tend to be shorter and lighter, but it's much more fun to be out in the warm with much more chance of clearer skies. You can make your experience as enjoyable as possible by getting the right gear and knowing a little bit before you go. See what planets are out, seeing if there's a passing of the International Space Station, or even organizing your trip around a meteor shower. As with everything in the outdoors, preparation is absolutely key. 